Hey, how's it going, guys? All right, so this is cleaver number three and four. Um, these are both the 30 inch uh, to the middle right with the rounded pommels. Um, these two, uh, I did a nice hollow grind, nice, nice and deep on both the front and the back. Um, unlike the cleaver number two, where it was just a uh, chisel grind on one side, these have these have grinds on both. Um, with a nice, nice steep, steep cutting edge right there. <laughs> uh, went ahead and ground off the mill scale on the front of both of those blades as well, because um, it was going to do some uh, electro etching on there. Um, both of these cleavers I'm making for uh, for a couple really good friends. Um, they both own a company called Liquid Metal Concepts, and um, you know, I had worked at a machine shop for, she's about 10 years, um, and when these two were working for their dad at their dad shop, before they took over and made, you know, liquid metals, I, I was helping them even back then, so, uh, they are, well, they did come up on their 10-year anniversary, uh, of, um, of liquid metal concepts being in, being an actual business. So, um, went ahead and made them both these cleavers to celebrate that, thus the, uh, the Roman numeral X for 10, <laughs> if you didn't grasp that concept. But, uh, yeah, I went ahead and built their, uh, their logo in Adobe Illustrator, uh, created a stencil, electro etched onto both of the cleavers, and, uh, here's the first cleaver, um, that I did some, uh, Birchwood Casey's super super blue on it. Um, here we go with both of those done, as well as the aluminum handles. Birchwood Casey makes a uh, an aluminum black, and basically what this does is is adds a protective layer um, chemically, almost like a uh, almost like an oxidation layer. Um, typically, it's used on guns to protect from rust. Um, in this instance, I basically use it for. Uh, for popping out detail. I'll just darken everything, make it all black, and then with a real fine sandpaper just uh, hit the high spots and, and bring the metal back out, which leaves all those, uh, those nice and deep, deep grooves and etches nice and black. Just brings out a real good contrast, a nice two-tone. Um, so here we go. The BK is, uh, is Blaine Kelly. One of the two owners, and the other one, JM, is Josh Miller, the uh, the other owner. Both of them very cool guys. Um, and I should be coming up on the uh, the Kydex sheath build. Um, this this was one of the most intense Kydex builds that I had done ever, <laughs> because up until this point, um, I had done quite a few Kydex sheaths for the tactile butter knives but nothing as far as for, you know, a cleaver or anything like that. Uh, but here we go, in CAD I went ahead and drew up a little mock-up, um, and this idea was it, uh, that it slides in and out. Um, this cleaver doesn't come to a point, so it's not so much a, a, a stick one end in and hope, hope for the best. Uh, here's a couple Kydex, um, Kydex colors couple mock-ups that I used. Um, both of those Kydex sheets I got at uh, knifekits.com. A really great place to source anything and everything for Kydex. Um, but here it is all assembled. Um, you know, Kydex is a really fun material to work with. Um, you know, heat it up on a flat top griddle, you know, or in an oven, and it becomes real pliable. And, you know, once it's nice and pliable, you sandwich, sandwich whatever it is you're trying to kydex in between some foam, press it real tight, let it cool down, and it just, it, it really takes the form of whatever it is you're trying to, uh, to put in between. And, uh, I went ahead and put ferro rods on both of these, uh, both Josh and Blander are outdoors types, definitely big hunters, so, uh, I ordered those. I ordered those and the uh, and the harness off of Amazon. Uh, the harness 
was actually really affordable. I think it was about twenty dollars each. Uh, but the ferro rods, um, the uh, paracord on those, Steph actually did. She's great with paracord. Anything and everything that I've got on <laughs> any knife that's been paracorded, it's done by Steph. I uh, I'd be lucky to get my shoes tied, <laughs> but she is a uh, she's a magician when it comes to doing paracord knots. But uh, there they are both side by side. Uh, Josh's I went with more of a green color scheme. Uh, Blaine's I did with the uh, the brown color scheme. And here they both are um, without the sheath, nice and etched. Yeah, I went ahead and did file work all the way down the uh, the spine the pommel and the belly of both of them. Um, the uh, battle texturing I did with just a metal cutoff wheel and a Dremel and uh, all the texturing down the actual spine of the blades um, was done on the TW90 with a small wheel attachment. Um, the texturing is really fun, fun to do. There's some of the battle scarring and there's that texturing. And uh, let's see, both the holograms are done on a 12 inch wheel um, on the TW90. And um, yeah, I'm not sure what else to say. I mean, these were really, really fun builds. Um, you know, after I left the company uh, that I was with for 10 years, you know, I was programming uh, water jets and lasers, um, you know, to be cut you know, cutting parts out of uh, steel, stainless, aluminum, titanium, uh, you know, granite, acrylic, anything and everything. Um, and like I said, I had been cutting parts for uh, Josh and Blaine's uh, father's company for years, and then they ended up, you know, their father retired, they took over the company, renamed it, revamped it, and uh, and I continued to, uh, to do their parts, and after I left you know, the company I was at to do, uh, you know, comic conventions full time. Um, they actually hit me up because they, they were having me do some designs for them. They were like, hey, we're, uh, we're going to acquire a laser. We're going to need someone to, uh, to program it. And I was like, oh, really? And they were like, yeah, you want to come join the family? And I was like, yeah, man, absolutely. So uh, they were kind enough to, uh, to open their door and and help me, uh, help me join their family over there at Liquid Metals. Um, really great company, really great guys. Uh, everyone that's worked there is, has got a knack for what they do. And they do anything and everything as far as metal fabrication from, you know, welding to, uh, you know, bending, powder coating, you know, laser cutting. And, uh, just a really good group of guys. So, you know, I had essentially made these cleavers for them uh, on the first year after they after they had me uh, start helping them program that laser. So when they were coming up on their 10 year, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna do something, do something. Hopefully they'll appreciate. So uh, so yeah, this is what I came up with, and uh, you know they dug it. <laughs> uh, I don't think they'll be taking these on any hunts, but. Uh, I'm sure it'll be sitting on their walls for quite a while for everyone to see. But um, anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching, and uh, take care. Hope you enjoyed.